Hello everyone, my name is Gayatri and in this quick connect we are going to solve a problem statement based on a single dimensional array. Fine, so the problem statement is something like this. Uh, we are having one single dimensional array. So the array elements are, uh, yeah, we can see the array elements. These are initialized here. So these are the array elements. You can take any element. It is not hard and fast rule that you have to take these elements. So you can change these elements as well. So any number of elements are set of elements are there in this array. We need to take a uh, take a number as input. For example, let me say one variable sum. When I have to take the input, let us say the in the value is 60. Fine, I need to take it as an input. Now I need to come up with the pairs available in the single dimensional array which sum it 60. So the output must be 100 will not come 35 and 25 yeah 20, 35 and 25 so first pair must be 35 25 second pair okay so i can see 40 okay so second pair is let us say uh okay 50 and 10 so 10 and 50 Okay, third pair is again 25 is there, no? So 35 and 25. So let us say 35 and 20. Right? So I am unable to see any other pairs available in this array, uh, which sum will be 60. Fine. So the output must be 30, uh, 35, 25, 10, 50, and 35, 25. So let us just carry on and do the solution for the same. Uh, let me declare the count, loop counters, so i and j. So why I am declaring j as a counter, uh, we will just understand it afterwards. So let us initialize, okay. So let us just say, uh, we will just traverse the array. Fine, so let's say for uh, i is 0 i less than equal to arr dot length minus 1 and i am just okay so i'm just going to check whether i can print the array or not so let's say error of i okay so let me check the code and yes we can traverse the array go back and let us remove this okay so now i need to come up with the pair so to come up with the pair we need two different numbers so one number is of index particular index other number is of different index fine so how to check that we will just create j counter it must started with zero and we must ensure that j must not equal to i and j plus this way we can put the loop counter fine where nowhere j must be equal to zero fine so let us just then we need to compare arr of i uh, plus arr of j equal to equal to so let's say sum uh, what is sum we will declare it now so let us say integer sum and we have to take the input. So let's say I will just say enter the sum value. Okay. Now uh, let us just do one thing. I will just take one scanner class. Okay, so now let us import util package. Yes, now let us tell here sum equal to c dot. Fine, so now my job is almost done. Now here I need to print the pair wherever the sum is uh, equal to the entered number. So here we need to print arr of i and arr of j fine 
okay so let us just give one space in between so my job is almost done let me just clear the output from here and let us uh, execute the code one second yes so now you can it is asking to enter the sum so i'm just entering 60 so see the pairs 25 and 35 25 and 35 50 and 10 because why it is uh, like the order is little bit different because inner loop will execute first so it will take j then i so 25 35 25, 35, 50 and uh, 10. Okay. So, I hope uh, it is clear and easy to understand, easy to solve as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a nice time.